CSF is coming out of the needle. Okay, then we connect the series with the half of the needle. Then we push it forward. Very slowly we are pushing our drive, which is very simple actually. Now we will wait for 30 seconds for the settlement of the <coughs> drugs. <coughs> False. Okay, the patient is then <coughs> positioned in supine position and uh, we are going to observe the uh, blood pressure right here. Uh, yes, we are seeing his initial BP 100, 203 by 88 with a huge gap in the pulse pressure and uh, we thought that it will reduce in some after some minutes but it is our uh, target to uh, overcome the relative volume deficit with the normal saline or any other elect <coughs> isotonic uh, crystalloid fluid so we are giving some boluses. Uh, we set up our ECG lid and uh, NIPP also uh, inflating its cuff. We set uh, the NIPP interval period of 3 minutes for this patient. And uh, we are expecting some reduction in blood pressure, especially the systolic pressure uh, now in this time, in this, in this inflation. 
in this measurement so after we are getting when we understand that after we observe the reduction of blood pressure we will if it reduced too much low or uh, less than systolic uh, less than mean pressure of 70 or 60 we are going to give the vasopressor as like as uh, ephedrine yeah ephedrine is in our hand but we are observing that it is not uh, highly reduction of uh, uh, blood pressure, the mean blood pressure is 100 and systolic is 157 by 70 so it is in our range and we are completely okay so we are seeing that we are giving the 3.5 ml of total 3.5 ml of volume in the CSF space and not having uh, a huge uh, depletion of blood pressure okay now we are going to give ondan cetron 8 mg for the reduction of MEC is now shear vomiting for this patient because uh, uh, due to reduction of the blood pressure uh, from very high to low uh, this may cause the nausea which will actually uh, deteriorate the experience of the operation for the patient as the patient is already agitated due to lack of communication and education of the uh, operation and uh, I, I think if we uh, practically do this, uh, give this uh, on the central injection, this will cause the <coughs> reduction, reduced chance of uh, MSCs and will improve the uh, total experience of the patient. And we are getting the second uh, blood pressure measurement and it is 154 by 68 mean pressure is 98 and we are totally okay with the ECG tracing and uh, pulse oximeter pulse oximeter waveform okay hello friends uh, as the uh, heart rate is not reducing with the time so we are thinking that our uh, blood pressure is due to high blood pressure is due to this high blood uh, uh, heart rate so we are going to reduce the blood pressure as well as at the time of uh, increasing the ves uh, increasing the vessel tone so we are giving some vasopressor we are going to give ephedrine for uh, increase increasing venous resistance or artery vessel resistance uh, we also know that ephedrine is indirectly acting drug vasopressin drug which will uh, which have some effect on the heart it will increase the heart rate but uh, definitely we are going to give it in a very low dose to reduce this action on the heart now we are going to give only 1 ml of ephedrine for the patient which is 5 mg of ephedrine which is like to increase the vessel tone or vessel resistance but not highly increase the heart rate ok welcome back friends uh, we are seeing that uh, we are having our uh, blood pressure 202 by 80 mean pressure of 115 uh, we uh, it is three hours after the uh, last uh, measurement but heart rate was likely around uh, 115 to 120 so after giving one ml of drain, it is almost similar but increasing with the increase of vessel resistance the pressure rises so we are hoping that this heart rate is uh, set up by the sinus with the of the patient so it will not uh, increase or decrease with the vessel pressure so we are not trying to uh, we are not going to change it uh, change the heart rate for the patient because it is set by his sinus uh, after giving the vessel pressure we easily understand this thing so we are not going to modulate it and uh, we are having now we are having the blood pressure of 168 by 72 which is pretty good I think uh, somehow uh, I have a thought for sedation of the patient for spinal anesthesia but uh, not patient is not uh, uh, fully agitated uh, he is uh, calm and quiet right now so we are not going to keep any sedation right now if uh, he is agitated after some time we will go for a sedation hello friends welcome back after uh, 10 minutes uh, we are seeing that now blood pressure is 146 by 67 mean pressure of 97 and uh, it is pretty much equal to the previous uh, value but uh, you can see the situation and actual pressure are reduced but mean pressure is uh, the normal stage which is as like as the before but 
to to decrease the systolic and diastolic pressure uh, we may think that there is maybe a patient is a diabetic patient also and uh, maybe he has some autonomic neuropathy so there is a slow decrease or reduction of blood pressure in this case happened so we are also we are now alert for uh, further reduction of the blood pressure and uh, we had uh, prepared our ephedrine for this purposes for the suppressing but as the patient as the surgery is in the lower limb band it is a vascular surgery so we want to be more cautious for the bleeding because when the vessel is involved there may be more bleeding when the surgeon incised the vessels so we will observe the situation carefully and uh, <coughs> uh, prepare our drug and administer our drug accordingly the situation Welcome back my friends, uh, it is almost uh, 35 minutes of giving spinal anesthesia and there is no uh, huge reduction of blood pressure and we are seeing the mean blood pressure of 107 right now and heart rate is 110 with a saturation of 96 so we are uh, not expecting further uh, reduction of blood pressure, mean blood pressure unless also there is a huge bleeding and there is uh, actually very little or reduced action of spinal anesthesia uh, on the on on this patient uh, who has a low cardiac reserve just patient 40 percent and uh, what we are doing actually we are giving the it uh, giving the uh, bivac in the lower space and uh, trying to get it settled down for some time which we do in saddle anesthesia and it causes the less involvement of the thoracolumbar outflow so as it uh, uh, these drugs involving uh, just a lumbar outflow of the um, outflow of the sympathetic lumbar sympathetic outflow roots or lumbar roots of the nerves so it causes the lower it causes uh, little reduction of blood pressure if it involves the uh, thora, uh, thoracic outflow so thoracic superior outflow it may reduce the blood pressure heavily which may happen when we are do when we do the uh, upper uh, or lower abdominal surgery we trying to block the uh, th lower thoracic or upper thoracic level uh, and this causes a huge reduction of blood pressure but in this case as the uh, as the surgery is in the lower limb so we just try to uh, block the lumbar outflows it causes the very low reduction of blood pressure and uh, increases the safety of the patient with the saddle approach settling the drug in the lower spaces and and uh, with a huge with a huge bolus so thank you for today and uh, we can uh, understand the uh, how we give a huge volume or huge amount of uh, buivacaine for the low cardiac reserve patient and thank you.